Hey guys, Coach Adam talking to you again today with Ashley, and we got a good video for you today. Heck yeah, we're gonna show you the ins and outs of the front pose, some tips to do, what not to do, all that good stuff. All right, so here's our top 10 tips for you. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, so before we begin, I just gotta say a shout out to Angel Competition Bikinis who made this awesome practice bikini. Super colorful, super fun, great for posing. <laughs> Let's get to it. Tip number one, in bikini posing, you wanna be relaxed, you wanna look effortless, you wanna be flowy. So I do not wanna see anybody out there tensing up or looking like they're trying too hard or looking like they're flexing, right? Yeah. So when we do this front pose, everything should just be nice and relaxed, laying down at your side naturally how it goes. And a lot of times the, the main issues is that you'll see, you'll see girls trying to like open up their lats or flex too much here and doing this kind of pose. And you'll see even this shoulder on this side, they'll bring it over a real stiff arm, sometimes too high up like this. It just doesn't look, <laughs> you look like a look badly made statue right now. <laughs> so this is more what you wanna make sure nothing's too tight, too flex. Bikini is a fitness model division, not a bodybuilding flex on stage division. And this goes for the back pose too. So. All right. So we never want to necessarily appear like we're, you know, trying to flex or appear bigger than what we are or show striations or veins. They don't want that in bikini. So stay nice and relaxed. Tip number two, make sure that both of your shoulders are square to the judges and level, okay? So I always like to use the analogy, if you didn't have a head, would you be able to balance a plate on your collarbone? You shouldn't be like this and you shouldn't be like this. Both shoulders should be visible to judges and level. Yeah, so I'll give you guys a couple examples of that front pose on kind of how it should be. So basically, Ashley's doing it pretty much exactly how she should be right now. You can see almost 100% of her is straight on. She's like about, let's see, her back shoulder is maybe three inches behind her front shoulder in terms of her body position versus being straight on but you look at her waistline and her waistline is about three inches from being completely profiled. So there's a lot of twisting going on in here and if you're not able to do that, well, you gotta get to stretching, you gotta get to practicing. That's the only way you're gonna solve that problem. I think one of the biggest issues people have is they start posing way too close to the show. They'll start posing like three weeks before their show, two weeks before their show, but this is a, a year long thing. You should be doing it all the time because flexibility is a big part of it, getting your, Muscle memory is a big part of it. Just knowing where your body's at without a mirror is a big part of it. So always practice. So one of the things that people do in air when doing this pose is you might be trying to make your glutes bigger by sitting into them too much. So go ahead and sit into your glutes a little bit. And then what they'll do is you'll start seeing them get like kind of like that with their shoulders too. They'll lean a little bit with their shoulder. So make sure your shoulders are nice and square. Like Ashley said, should be completely straight here turned over as much as they can without being, you know, without it affecting your waistline. And uh, that's pretty much what I got for you on that. Anything else I'm missing here, Ash? Yep, just make sure that both of them are visible oh, and yeah. one's not behind here, because I see this a lot too. So the girls that do pose more profile, just make sure if you do pose more profile like this, that you can still see this back shoulder, because they can't touch your shoulder if they can't see it. So make it easy on them. You have to rotate your torso forward. Especially if you're one of those girls who puts her hair over her shoulder, you gotta really make sure that you're able to see that shoulder. And another thing, if you're a girl, this is another, uh, another thing that happens a lot. If you're a girl with a larger chest, sometimes when this shoulder is just a little bit behind and you have that larger chest kind of hiding that shoulder, it makes it even, even harder to see the shoulder. So um, that's something you have to look at for your own specific physique that you might have to turn it over different. You might have to move your hair in a different way. Um, everything is about making the illusion of wide shoulders, tiny waist, big glutes. So it's all about that X that we're trying to reach. So however it works for you best, make sure you're practicing, working with the posing coach, going to workshops, whatever. Tip number three. Okay, so when we are in our front pose or any pose, for example, um, we want to make sure that our chest is always high and our chin is up and we're not hunched or slouched or anything like that. Think tall when we're posing. Think very tall, as tall as you possibly can be. It shows confidence and elegance. 
Yeah, and when we're talking about being tall, we're meaning, you know, not sitting into those hips too much, not bending the legs too much on both sides so you're looking a little bit shorter. But the other thing is, it's gonna all, this being tall is also gonna be per girl too. Because if you go, some girls, when they go really, really tall and they go big in pose, the ribs come out a lot. So if you get like, let's say just you suck in real hard and then go up as high as you can, you'll get a little bit more ribby and that won't look good on her. So you get to find that comfortable, tall balance that's gonna be good for you. Most women will be able to just go as tall as they can be and some, you'll start getting ribby. So you have to find the balance that's that's good for you. So it's just like with bodybuilding posing, they do the same thing with, some, with that front double biceps. Some of them have all their air in their chest and some of them don't, you know? So it's, it's just a balance between what looks best for each guy. Tip number four, be aware of how your glutes look in the front pose. So this will vary from girl to girl. Some girls will sit a little bit more in their hips. Some will be more, um, I guess, upright and putting more pressure onto their arch of their foot or their toe. Um, but this is gonna depend on your own personal build, right? So girls that already have enough glute, maybe shouldn't sit so much in their hip because it can kind of distort um, their hourglass frame. However, some girls that maybe don't have such a good side profile glute, um, maybe they should sit a little bit more into that hip so it creates more of a curve. Yeah, and when we're doing this front pose and talking about the glute front profile, you gotta remember we're posing for balance, not for impressiveness, right? And a lot of times when we're in, our, in the gym and we're taking selfies and whatnot, the, you'll see, you know, everyone's posing for impressiveness and they're saying, how big can I get my glutes to look and then take that picture? Well, on bikini stage, it's not about how big can I get my glutes to look because it's, it's, about, it's about balance. So if you have really small glutes, then yeah, maybe it is about how big can you get your glutes to look. But if you have balanced physique, you don't want to overpower your, the rest of your physique and make it look like it's just your glutes that are showing. So pose for balance, sit as hard as you need to, to not shrink you up too much and to, not, and to not overpower your physique, you know? The one thing is, when people sit in their pose too much, you'll get a lot of times, yeah, it doesn't look natural, they'll get shorter, but a lot of times too, Ashley's in great shape right now, you'll get like, if you have any body fat, or it'll, it'll really roll right there and it'll shrink your waistline, you'll get skin rolls back here. Um, even if you're lean, you'll get, if you're really lean, you'll get skin rolls too, it makes you look like you're not as conditioned as you should be. And it really makes your waistline look a little thicker, you know? Yes. It makes your waistline look thicker, makes your legs look longer, your waist look shorter. Um, you know, it's just not the best look. And, you know, as you can tell, because they stopped doing that, but people were doing it a little bit more about two, three years ago, and now it's like pretty much gone. So you can tell it's evolving, people are noticing. So, and that means that the judges are gonna be noticing too. Tip number five, be aware of your front arm in the front pose, right? So what do we wanna do with this front arm? First off, if you're nice and tall, like I just described, and your chest is high, your chin is up, it should naturally kind of fall into place. You don't need to force it. You don't need to flare your lats. You don't need to do the teacup. We definitely don't wanna see the teacup. It should just kind of naturally fall there if you have good lat development, right? So I would also like to add to that, make sure that this front arm is not covering the glute because you worked hard for that booty. You don't wanna cover it up. How yeah. can they judge your glutes if they can't see them? Exactly. Nice and high, chest up, should fall in place. <laughs> So a few key things on this front arm, like Ashley said, never put it in a position where it'll block the glute. Well, that, that's two things. One, it's enough space between here and the glute, and two, it's to be aligned with your body. The problem is, is a lot of girls will do this and put it in front of their body. If you could see, maybe you stand sideways, Ashley, for a second, like that way. If your, your, your arm should be around here, but sometimes girls put their arm way out here thinking that it doesn't matter. We need to understand the judges over in that direction, though the judges in this direction straight ahead can see the gap. The judges over there are getting blocked by that glute. So you wanna be back far enough where they can see the glute even when the judges that are on the left. So you can go ahead and face the front again. So with that arm position that we how she talked about, the lats not being needed, needing to be open, people are still confused about that. You do not need to open your lats and flare your lats. Bikini is not getting judged on their lats. Okay, so they do wanna see a good V taper, they wanna see that, but that's mainly from your shoulders and a little bit from your lats. If you have, if you wanna open your lats just a hair and it looks natural to you and it helps with your overall shape, then great. But you shouldn't be looking like you're this, like you're flaring your lats like a figure competitor. That is, that is not a thing anymore. A couple tips on the arms that you could do. 
Ashley has her arms perfect. Sometimes you'll see girls do this a little bit because it helps their shoulder cap when they turn their wrist a little bit. Per person, it's up to you, but that's the reason you're seeing these wrists turn, but it can't be, like she said, turned up like this. So uh, that's pretty much it on this front arm, but it is an important arm. You wanna see the glutes from this front gap. You wanna make sure the judges over on this side can see. You wanna make sure that there's some shoulder definition here, and it's not just one piece of, of shoulder to arm connection. You wanna see, you know, they say they don't wanna see capping, but they do wanna see a little bit of shape in that shoulder. Also, I need to uh, remind you guys not to keep your hair covering your shoulder because sometimes if we're not careful, girls with long hair, sometimes it ends up like this and it kind of, uh, again, going back to how can they judge your shoulder if they can't see it. So make sure it's out of the way. If you have like a little piece in front or whatever, that is fine, but just make sure it's not covering it. Next tip is to make sure that this front leg is pretty straight for the most part. I mean, there are some exceptions to the rule and Adam will go into that. Yeah. But sometimes I see on stage a lot of times girls will overcompensate for not having enough um, glute and hamstring and do this little sit bend squat deal like this, thinking that it makes it look more bubbly and it for sure does, but it also makes it look thicker and meatier. And um, I think it's more, uh, geared toward wellness type yeah, posing. Um, so in bikini for the most part, and like I said, there are exceptions, which you will go into. For the most part, you want to keep this leg straight with the knee straight like this, so that you get a nice elegant line and uh, nothing's out of proportion. So on that front leg, what we're trying to do is mainly have it locked. Occasionally, it'll make sense for a girl to have a slight bend to it, but again, like she said, not too much because it's gonna shrink up your legs and make your torso look longer. And then when you lean in it too much, it'll actually make your torso look smaller because if you're, if you're really leaning into that pose, your torso kind of shrinks. So it's about, all about proportions in this front pose. Now, here's the thing. Usually you'll see people bend their leg because they want to see more separation and more detail, not only in this part of their leg, but also in their quad. You gotta understand, there's, they're not going for quad striations for bikini. You're not getting judged on how great your quad striations are and how much you know, separation you have. That is not a bikini judging criteria. So when people are, who should bend their leg and who shouldn't, if you do, it's gonna be very, very slight and the only people who really should is if they need a little bit more pop, maybe a, maybe a tiny bit of detail coming through the quad and hamstring split on people who don't have great development. Now, Ashley has great development. Her hamstrings, if, if there's anything on her body that's too developed, would be her hamstrings. Her hamstrings are really round hamstrings. So for her to sit into that pose and really show those hamstrings even more, it wouldn't make more sense. You know, now, nowadays bikini is all about that balance. So pose to be balanced again. As always, you're gonna keep hearing me say that, pose for balance. So if you need a little bit more hamstring roundness, a little bit more separation, maybe a slight bend to the knee, but for the most part, 90% of you out there are gonna be pretty much straight legged. Um, Ashley even locks it, locks out her leg. Yeah. yeah. So don't be afraid to lock. People are like, oh, you'll you'll go unconscious if you lock. I haven't I, yet. I haven't seen it. <laughs> I don't know who said Locked that. Locked on what? I don't, it seems like you'd be less susceptible than to just lock your knees and just fall unconscious, right? Like your body's made uh. better than that, I hope. <laughs> Disclaimer, <laughs> disclaimer pop up. Consult with the doctor. <laughs> All right, our next tip is the foot placement variation. So you might see a few different variations with this front foot, right? So I like to always kind of use like a clock as an example of where your toe is pointing, right? So if you're like more front on like this, that would be noon. And since I'm left hip, dominant. Um, I usually um, try like a one or a two o'clock. <laughs> one or a two o'clock, usually one is where I would like to point my toe. Two o'clock would look something like this and then three o'clock would basically be just profile. Yeah. Yeah and it's going to be different per girl. So look at your development and that's really what's going to be part of that. So Ashley has again really good hamstrings, really good glutes. Um, so for her being fully sideways wouldn't be, make the most sense because it's going to be showing her body as not as balanced as it could be. Remember, it's not just about building your body to be balanced in the gym, it's about posing to be balanced the best you can. So for her, it makes a lot more sense to go this way. Now, let's say you had really developed quads and they're maybe too developed for a bikini. Well, in that scenario, going straight on might not be the best option for you because you're really gonna display, hey, my quads are overdeveloped for the rest of my body. So for different people, different things, um, if you have, you know, if you need a little bit of work in those glutes, this is, I would go more sideways, 
a little bit of push to those glutes, not too much like we talked about. So it's gonna be different and you have to look at your physique, really analyze it and say, okay, where should I go? A good tip that Ashley does all the time is she puts up her, her camera phone and then she'll pose with these different positions and then she'll say what she's doing into the camera and then she reviews it and then she zooms in and zooms out and she really studies it and you guys should all be studying the game too and practicing what's gonna look best on you. And then asking people, do you think this is best, you know? Uh, when I have clients send in their check-in pictures, they'll sometimes send me different foot positions and they'll say, which one do you think is best? And I'll give them my, my analysis on it too. So it's a very, very helpful thing. Get people involved. There's a lot of experts out there. Workshops, posing classes, come to ours. <laughs> Absolutely, we'd love to see you there. And another thing I would like to add to that is the girls who are um, more profile posing, keep in mind that that pose is a little tricky to pull off sometimes because there are about seven judges, right? So maybe the head judge sees that one good angle, but it's sometimes with that profile pose, hard to kind of pull off for the judges that might be on the ends. Yeah. So if you can get away with it, the more forward facing, the better. That way you get a consistent look throughout all the judges. All right, tip number eight. Be aware of what the judges are seeing. They are watching you from the time you step on stage to the time you step off, and that means when you're getting compared anytime, right? So I just wanna make sure that we're not slouching. I wanna make sure that we're making eye contact and making sure our chin is up and we're smiling bright and uh, you know, don't let the pooch come out. <laughs> be, be nice and tight. Yeah, so one of the things is you're gonna have to find the right balance for you on how much you're gonna be sucking in or holding tight or whatever it is that you end up doing. A lot of times people will try to keep their waist as tight as they can go, but the problem is, is it makes the ribs come out too. So you don't wanna ever look ribby, okay? If you're, if you're very lean and you're a petite bikini girl, there's a very fine line between looking lean and looking skinny. And the more ribby you are, the more skinny you're gonna look, okay? There's natural to have some ribs show. The, the best girls in the world will show some ribs, but they talk about their rib control all the time. So it's something that you're gonna have to find the balance of, okay, how do I keep my waist tight without my ribs popping out too much? Is it too much? There's gonna be some, what's the give and take? Where's my, where's my perfect balance of that? And as Ashley was saying too, talking about always looking good for the judges, make sure that you're, always looking at the judges when you come out. Your friends, your boyfriends, whoever might be in the audience, the judges want to crown the next champion as their future next representative of their state for being a pro. So they're like, okay, is this girl ready to be pro yet? You gotta act like a pro when you're on stage or is she having fun and winking to her boyfriend and doing all these things? We want to give the girl that wins the overall send her to national so she can get a pro card. Is she acting like a pro? Is she posing like a pro? Is she on the line like a pro? Everything you do, act like a pro. So always keep eye contact with the judges, only look at them, that's who, all you need to be looking at. And then the other thing is make sure when you look at the judges, you look with your eyes and not with your head. And there's a big difference between that. And um, when, Ashley, if you wanna do your pose, so if, if Ashley looks with her head, her whole head will go down and look at the judges like this. But if she keeps her head high and looks with her eyes and keeps a tall regal position, it's a big difference. And, if, and when the judges are down low, which we're shooting straight on so you can't see it, but if the judges are down low, which are basically at your feet, and you look down at them like this, well, your neck completely disappears and it throws off your, your, your balance that we talk about. So be tall, be regal, be proud, pose proud, and make sure that you control those ribs and don't pose so big that your ribs are popping out. So a lot goes into that front, front pose and just stage awareness, I think. Absolutely, yeah. and depending on how you are built and how your midsection is, some girls I know actually flex their abs on stage, some girls do the vacuum, some girls just stand tall and it naturally falls into place. That's gonna be dependent on you, right? Like I would not flex my abs on stage because I know I tend to have more developed abs and that would be an issue. Um, I just try to kind of suck in a little bit because I don't tend to get very ribby, but I know a lot of girls that do. So I'd say for the most part, girls just stand tall and um, their waistline will naturally be small because they're standing tall. Um, and then another thing as well, I know you've been dieting for a long time and maybe you're tired, but do not show it on stage. Always be smiling, always be looking like you want to be there. Show good energy. All right, tip number nine, be aware of the width of your feet. I would say for starters, most girls will have their heels underneath their shoulders. However, depending on how you're built, um, that might be a little bit more narrow than your shoulders. 
but never wider, right? So if we have a girl that's very broad shoulder and if her and if her um, feet are too close together like this in the front pose, she's gonna look like an upside down triangle and that just throws off the balance. So, you know, with bikini and any physique division, we're looking for balance. So keep that in mind. So as a rule of thumb, as a good starting point, the way that we'll typically have the feet position is we'll have this foot just an inch or two away from the front toe so that that uh, the, front, the front foot is this front left foot for most people. And if you haven't picked a side yet on posing, if you're really new to posing, I would definitely recommend posing left hip forward just because that's the side that your number is gonna be on and it's just easier for the judges to identify you. Some people pose right, that's fine too if you've already developed that. But on that front left foot, we generally keep the foot really close to that front toe, this one here, a couple inches away. And that should give her the width that she needs to kind of match her up her shoulder. So we're looking for an X frame. So wide shoulders, tiny waist, um, feet that match the shoulders to create that perfect X. So when she was talking about don't go too wide, you wanna give an example of that. Sometimes people do this, and that's, that's not a current style of posing. We used to kind of pose in a, in a modified version of this a long time ago, but um, it's not something that we're really doing anymore, so make sure you keep your feet shoulder width. So as a rule of thumb, if you need to take a picture of yourself posing or get it on, get it on camera, on video, just try to make sure you're lining up this straight down to that, and then you'll be safe. And anywhere in between that, within reason is gonna be just fine. Some people go in a little bit more. And I have, I have some girls go all the way with their toe and the way that they're getting their X frame is with this kind of front leg. So it's just depending on the girl. So it's still, in that scenario it's close, but they have this knee that's helping create that X frame too. So you'll see a lot of variations on this. It's very much per person. And what we're looking for on this leg here is we want just a tiny bit of detail on this leg. Remember, as you said, we don't want full separation or anything like that. But this is a big, this is a big area of, of skin and you wanna get something on that. You wanna see some tiny bit of development on there. So that's the reason for the adjusting of the foot just so we can get a little bit of kiss of detail. So it'll be different per person. Okay, so the last tip for today, be aware of the back hand placement that goes on your hip. I would say never go higher than the belly button. You can go lower if you want, but never higher because you're gonna look like a chicken wing up here, <laughs> right? Also, be cautious of how you're grabbing your hip because sometimes I will see girls that do this clenched fist. Some girls do like the Barbie hand like this. Some girls will bring it way too far when they're in their profile way too far like on their belly button right so we don't want to do that it's going to depend from person to person but just make sure it's natural i like to say like pretend like you're holding potato chip very delicate with their with your hand in the back here because again we don't want to look like we're flexing or tensing in bikini posing so nice and delicate fairy fingers you're holding a chip yeah i like to say just get the l and make sure it goes right on your side there and you'll always know that you're in the right position and if you need a place to put it sometimes um, people will put this little piece bit of skin here right on their like right above their suit strap so they can be 100 percent the same every time um, just to, dependent per person but the one thing i say really does mess this up is how she was saying putting your hand over past past that because this is what happened what i see is people get nervous when they're on stage they're not in front of a mirror and that's what a lot of you kind of don't remember you pose in front of a mirror all the time and then when you get on stage you make mistakes because there's not a mirror in front of you so i would always say pose in front of a mirror for your practice but also pose not in front of a mirror for your practice but in front of your camera and then that way you can review it without seeing what you're doing and seeing the mistakes you're making but with that front pose and having your hand here what happens is people get nervous and they'll push pressure here and they're so lean that they just create all this skin rolls and so it really takes away from your physique and then the judges can't really see your core too when you're kind of going like this so i always like say hey keep an l you know we won't go too far and with that arm placement a couple of things that we could do the, the higher you go with your arm the more your shoulder is going to flex and that's why you see girls doing this way up like way up here because you're going to get more like your shoulder is going to look a little bit more developed but there's a certain point where it looks pretty ridiculous like this is definitely that point so i would say go down here but it's okay to give if you need more shoulders it's okay to give a little bit of squeeze to the shoulder without it looking like you're squeezing now you got to remember we said don't pose, don't flex earlier, but you gotta remember some girls won't look like they're flexing if they don't have that much muscle. 
right. if they have a lot of shoulders and Ashley's pumping backstage and Ashley actually gets really good pumps it's as she gets really good pumps on her shoulders so if Ashley were there all pumped up and then she was flexing on top of it then it would look too much it'd be too detailed you'd be able to see that she's doing it but if you need more work in your shoulders you know you need to get them bigger there's nothing wrong with giving it a little bit of a squeeze just to the point where it doesn't look like you're doing it exactly so, so if you have to flex or tense any muscle just make sure it doesn't look yeah. like you are whether it be in your facial expressions or the the placement itself you just need to look relaxed and calm and and like you're not flexing like this is easy you just yeah. woke up like this i know? call that cheating the pose we'll call it cheating the pose a little bit yes. so but it has to be like look like this it can't look like like you're going like this and you're full on shaking your shoulder and you can mm -hmm. see you know so big difference and it has to be if you th know you're doing it, then everyone knows you're doing it. So anyway, guys, thank you again so much for watching. We appreciate it. And then shoot us in the comments below of what you want to see for our next tutorial video. Thanks again.